since basically the middle of November, we went into high gear with preparation for the Training Academy project, the National Ebola Training Academy, which is situated on two distinct training sites, one being the National Stadium, the other one being the Faculty of Nursing College of Medicine. We offer two basic courses. One is the three-day IPC course, offered to anyone basically. It's a basic IPC, cleaners, um, hygienists, doctors, nurses. We also offer what is called the three plus two. It's a five-day clinical course, three days didactic, and two days simulated patient care. Uh, the patient inside idea is what the confirmed of Ebola. He's lost lots of fluids from his body through the way and vomiting and he's getting confused. Okay. On, Blood is dripping all over the place. Okay. The participants are supposed to identify him as somebody who could be dangerous to restrain him and he, he, he sedate him so that he stops wandering around and also replace the IV line, give him medication and also document what they, are, they have done. We are here at least to, uh, to make sure at least we simulate some cases. We present, we make the, the training to become practical. Instead of just talking, talking and talking, you see the patient, I will appear before you, I manifest the signs, then you can see how best you can triage me and you classify me whether I'm a suspect, a confirmed case or a probable case. My school where I work, that is Makai University School of Public Health, asked me whether I was interested to come and train health workers here. We've been training health workers in Uganda to prepare for Ebola hemorrhagic fevers and Mabak would move to, to districts and train. So I felt I would come and share my experience but also learn from what is happening around. The child has symptoms that are consistent with Ebola. But the mother is asymptomatic and you want to isolate the child. Do you think that is going to be a simple task for you? We came in as WHO in partnership with IOM and WHO provided the technical assistance, the training materials, the curriculum and together hand in hand with IOM we've been able to dispense this to the participants, different participants and keep adjusting it as the training needs keep changing. When I was pronounced that I'm um, positive, I felt bad. And the whole family started crying because it's general. This is the first time we have got this disease in our country. So medical people are dying, seductors are dying. So the entire family also was crying. I also was thinking that maybe I will not make it up. By the grace of God, now I'm here. Well, I had a tugging in my heart. I mean, I, I would watch CNN um, documentaries and other um, coverage me by the media on the things that were happening here. I, I couldn't sleep at night. I said, I'm Sierra Leonean, I'm a healthcare professional, and I know how to train, and I know there's some place for me to, to function over here. And that was the overriding um, factor that brought me here. We definitely provide IOM with the facility where the training is taking place right now and we also provide them with staff um, who are also part of the, uh, the instructing team or instructors on the training program. We are, periodically we talk to the staff to ensure that at least they are actually comfortable with the work they are doing. They have daily evaluation forms at the field, um, giving their own comments on the training. Most of the comments are, this training must continue, you should take the training to the provinces, you should train more healthcare workers, thank you very much for the training, we we'll say thanks to IOM, WHO and the ASLAF. Those are amongst the comments that they've been making over the period. The trainings help a lot in reducing the rate of transmission uh, in their country because initially people were not having adequate knowledge about the Ebola, the infection prevention and control measures. 
the skills and trainings you've been doing here. When you try to implement them, you will see the difference. So I'm advising everyone that is out there that have not come here yet for this training to rush up and come so that they can improve the, the, the health status of the country as a whole. Working here in this academy, be it with IOM, WHO, or as a partner, we are working as a team. So our goal and purpose is one and the same. Uh, it is, it's a big impact. It's a big impact. If I tell you how much I feel, how much I'm happy as a Cylonian, when IOM is contributing immensely to this response, I mean, I don't think we can even measure it. There is no tape to measure that. IOM is working to keep the Ebola out of Sierra.